welcome back to my virtual classroom again so this uh this this time i'm gonna i will be discussing with you uh the the problem solving uh, steps okay so we'll be going back to the basics of problem solving and uh, at this point uh, let's get to know the father of problem solving he is george polya he was a Hungarian mathematician and made, he made fundamental contributions to combinatorics, number theory, numerical analysis, and probability theory. He also noted for his work in heuristics and mathematics education. So let us uh, review the four-step approach to problem solving. So first, this very elementary, so first is understand the problem or step one you have to understand the problem so what are you going to do in this particular step so what you're going to do is to read the problem not once but twice thrice or many times okay until you understand all the words or all uh you understand the problem very well so in this particular step you have to understand all the words. Question yourself. Do you understand all the words written? Can you restate the problem in your own words? Or do you know what is given or what are given? Okay, so check what are given. And do you know what the goal is or what should you do with uh, that particular problem? Okay, is there enough information? Okay, are the givens enough to solve the problem? Or are there extraneous information? Extraneous information means information which you do not need, but they are only distractors in the problem. So that's the first, uh, that's the first step in Polya's problem solving. Okay, step two, device a plan. After understanding the problem, come up with a way to solve the problem. Setting up an equation or a mathematical sentence. Drawing a diagram. If you want, you can draw, you illustrate, so you'll better understand, specifically if it's more on geometric problems. Even not geometric, you can draw, you can illustrate, and you can make a chart or a table. Okay? So, so you can, uh, you can uh, easily understand and you can easily plan out, you can easily solve the problem. Okay, that's devising a plan. Next is, after devising a plan, you have to carry out the plan. Okay, so what if, say for example, you have already created a mathematical sentence or an equation, so you have now to implement that particular strategy that you have chosen okay so when implementing you are now solving you are now solving the problem okay so give yourself a reasonable amount of time to solve the problem so do not pressure too much yourself just do it okay so if you think you are not successful if you think your uh, solution is not correct or it's uh, what's this it's uh, you're not successful with that particular problem then repeat you go over you review again okay and then you try to solve again the problem so that is carrying out the plan okay and of course number four is to look back usually um, looking back is reviewing your solutions okay uh, review your solutions go over with your first uh with your first entry on the solving problem okay and then go over one by one because you know in mathematics uh in mathematics one mistake even if uh it's only a sign say for example negative or positive you make the positive negative it has a impact it has an impact to the whole solution Okay, so you have to uh, really uh, check 
your solution if it's correct. Ask yourself, does your answer satisfy the statement of the problem or does your answer satisfy what is asked? Okay, and you can also explore an easier solution if you want. And then compare. So you have comparison. What else? Can you see how, how can you extend your solution to a more general case? Okay, it means that dig deeper. Okay, so is there any, is there any options more? Is there any option or there are, is there, is there an option to make uh, the solution uh, way more accurate? Okay, now if you are done with this, so you are through or you are done with your problem solving. Okay, so that is how easy. So let's generalize again. Um, let's, uh, let's summarize again the steps. So number one is, of course, before you take the exercises. So of course, we have number one is, what are we going to do with number one? We have, understand the problem. Devise a plan, carry out the plan, look back. So this time, I'm going to leave you an exercise, okay? I'm going to leave an exercise, so number one and two, and you are to answer this one, okay? And then turn in your answer. So, so much for this uh, problem, solving, problem solving steps. So I hope you learned something today. So I hope to see you on my next video.